This video covers what happens to a conductor when it enters an electric field. So just a reminder, a conductor is an object in which electrons easily flow. So we have a uniform electric field here pointing in the positive x direction. And we are going to place this conductor into the field. We know that conductors have charges that easily flow. And we know that negative charges want to flow in the direction that is opposite the electric field. So all of our negative charges are going to end up on this side of the conductor. And we know the positive charges are then going to be left toward are then going to be left towards the right side of the conductor. And this is also in the direction of the electric field. So we also know that charges themselves can create electric fields. So electric field lines come out of positive charges and into negative charges. So the separation of charges within the conductor then creates this second electric field. And this second electric field is pointing in the exact opposite direction of the first electric field. And these two electric fields combine, cancel each other out, and we are left with no electric field at all in the middle or inside of the conductor. So we make sure that you notice that we still have an electric field outside of the conductor though. And one important thing to note also is that the electric fields outside of the conductor then bend towards the conductors outside so that the electric field lines enter and exit the conductor at right angles. This is because if there was any electric field that was not perpendicular or it would have a parallel component, it would cause a charge or the charges on the surface of the conductor to accelerate and the conductor would no longer be in equilibrium. So if you want to hear a little bit more about this explanation, I provided a link in the description. So if you'd like to, more read, to read a little bit more about this, take a look at the link.